Hello again, YouTubers. This is your host, Black Samurai 7. I just want to post a video um, as announcing about this brand new memorial slash museum that's being built in Montgomery, Alabama. And I heard that it's going to be released sometime in 2017. And this museum is going to be honoring the thousands of lynchings that happened in the United States. And I found all this out from an article from Diversity Inc. And I was reading through the article and I found out in the article, it seemed as though it was saying that from the Equal Justice Initiative that's actually based in Montgomery, Alabama, the founder of the Equal Justice Initiative has said that there were actually 24,000 lives that was lost from lynching. And that's sad. That's very, very sad. That this has happened here in America. I feel bad for all those lives that were lost. Even though this is something that happened many years ago. The pain and the destruction from all these mur from these murders, it's still there. It doesn't matter how long that it's happened. I don't care if it happened 5,000 years ago. The pain of this stuff, it's still there. It's still there. It doesn't matter how long it's happened. It doesn't matter how long. It's still there. The the hatred, the hatred, um, the anger, the the fury from all of these lynchings, it's all still there. And that's sad. It's so sad that all these murders have happened here in the United States. From what? For what? It's just so, so upsetting. That in this current century, even though I'm saying lynchings have died down quite a bit, I'm going to say it has. But the thing is, it doesn't nearly have to be a lynching. I'm going to say police brutality is also part of this too. And it's so, so upsetting how I said this before. We're living in a new form of slavery here in America. And that's racism from police brutality and just straight up. Uh, home black phobics and s racist savages here who think that just have the right to physically harm a, an innocent black person. And it's, I just can't believe that stuff like this is happening. I feel bad for all innocent black people. I really do. It's just so upsetting. You can just be walking down the street and you could be, you could be encountering a racist right there. So we as we as black people really, we really gonna have to, we're gonna have to keep um, our eyes open at where we are, and we're gonna have to just watch out for these racist savages. We're gonna have to watch out for them, and you just gotta watch out for, just watch out for them. And I, it's understandable if they pull out a gun or whatever. I understand it's it's gonna be awful. It it, it is. Like that other video that I posted about the George Zimmerman 2, George Zimmerman 2.0. You're going to be just like that. You're going to be just be walking down the street, minding your own business, and you're going to be encountering the racist savages like that. And that person can grab a shotgun and shoot you and kill you. And for what? For nothing. You're going to be walking down the street, just minding your own business, and you got to deal with some freaking racist savage for nothing. You ain't doing nothing wrong. So why the heck should this racist savage come in your life and try to destroy it? For what? For what? Dang, man, it's just so upsetting that it's so upsetting that all this has happened. I know it's it's again, I know what's happened a long time ago. I know what has. But the pain is still there. It is. So it's a great thing that this museum is being built. I look forward to its completion and I look forward to its opening. And I look forward to it having thousands upon thousands of people visiting this museum. And I look forward to all the visitors being able to see the history. Be able to, to just to remember the history of all this. Because this history needs to continue to be brought out. It's not supposed to be swept under the rug. It needs to be continually brought up, not swept under the rug. Now, 
That's all I got to say. Feel free to like, favorite, and comment my video, and feel free to subscribe to my channel. See you guys later.